Hello, in this short video, we'll look at testing the SAP Hybris C4C with WorkSoft. So I'll start out by just logging into the system. And what you'll notice is I'm, as I'm navigating through the application, Capture is showing me the narrative and getting the screenshots of everything I'm doing. This is really helpful. This capture file can be used to create automation, but it also can be used to create documentation of a process. So I'll navigate and I'll go to sales and then opportunities. You'll notice as I'm navigating through the window, the screenshot of the, the items, the buttons, the different things I'm interacting with are being captured. And then a narrative explaining the action I did. So what I'm going to do is just create a new opportunity. And I'll enter an account. And look them up. You'll notice when I click the look up window, the input data showed up in my, um, my capture window. I'll select my customer and I'll save and open my opportunity. So one thing you may need to do is go add attachments into your opportunity. So there's multiple ways to do attachments. You can attach from an existing library. So I just navigate and click. Maybe I put a web link. Or maybe I actually do a file upload. So this is kind of interesting because what happens is when I'm working with something like Selenium or other web testing tools, they can't actually interact with these style buttons. It, it can't interact with this button here, this browse, because it's a specialized button. Um, and it can't do things like the common dialog. So over here, I need to actually navigate to a file and actually go upload it. So I want to come over to my documents. I've got my document file. And what I'll do is I'll just go and put the file name here. So that's the file I want to upload, and I've got my open button. So what I can do is actually activate the Silverlight interface so I can actually work with this native Windows dialog box. So if Live Touch, what I can do is I can highlight the file name that I'm going to enter. I'll add that stuff to my test. I'll navigate to my Open button. I'll add that to my test. So now my test includes these um, steps that are basically outside of the browser, outside the DOM. You'd probably have a problem with this if you're using Selenium. So you wouldn't be able to update these native buttons here. I'll click Add. I'll save my opportunity. And then I'll go through and log out. So now I've completed authoring my M process. So I'll just save this off. The idea is I can save these files and use them later. So I can get documentation from here. Um, I can create test automation from here. But what we find in many cases is this concept of capture where we see the user walking through the user interface could actually be done by the user. It could be done by a business analyst or by QA. So we don't have to ask them to do special things. We just say, do your daily job and let's observe them and build the automation. And then what happens is an automation engineer can come over here and actually import this and build an automated test. So I'll give this a name. Click OK. So I've now created an automated test. So if we look at my automated test here, what you'll see is all the different steps. Um, 
occurred. I can see screen images for those so I can see what people are actually interacting with on the screen. Now the password wasn't pulled up uh, because for confidentiality reasons we don't want to save those passwords here. So I'll go reference a variable that has that password encrypted for me. And I have my tests. So it goes through and it opens the hamburger, navigates to the sales opportunities. We can see there's, there's references to where we were in the process. And it comes all the way down to actually adding the items into the system itself. So I basically have a test case I'm ready to run. So what I'm going to do is open up a driver test. So I've pre-authored this test here and what it will do is go run my test. So instead of that test there, what I want is I want to run the test I just wrote. I'll drag and drop that in, pretty easy editing, and I'll run. So the idea is I should be able to run this test um, without a lot of editing and so forth. And that's the advantage of using WorkSoft. So what you'll notice is Certify is based on an object action framework. There's actions, so click, drag, enter data, uh, manipulate things, take screenshots, and then the object repository. And that's where you understand how to actually do the work and where the objects are on the screen. So my test has started running. I'll open up the window on the right so you can see it run. My first steps that I had pre-built actually launched the browser, and now it's going to step into my test. And you'll notice it's starting to enter my username. The password is, is hidden from you on the screen. And then it'll start navigating. So what we'll see is it'll go to the sales and create my opportunity. There we go. And it'll start creating my opportunity. It's entering the data. It'll do the lookup for me. I'll get my customer. And then I'll go add my actual attachments. So the attachments is kind of interesting because if you think about simple testing in a browser, many, many times it spans different technologies. In this case, these are, you know, documents already preloaded into the system. So yeah, you could probably test this with Selenium or another testing tool. But the problem is, what happens when your attachments need to access the local file system? Or maybe you need to create an Excel spreadsheet or a Word document to upload. This is actually a native dialog, so it's not available in the browser as a DOM event. So that's where Selenium and other you know, point solutions that just have web pages will fall apart. So there you go. We've got a nice test case that opens up Hybris C4C. I create an opportunity and I upload different um, files to it. If I look at my details, I can see that I've got a nice report with all the screenshots of everything that's happened along the way. So, hope you enjoyed this video. This is an example of using WorkSoft Certify and the Capture Technologies to test a Hybris C4C application.